Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on what time you're watching this. I'm filming this on a lovely morning in my backyard. Um, okay, a joke to get started before I read Junie B. Jones. How do you get an astronaut's baby to sleep? You rock it. Get it? Like a rocket ship? Okay, so we are on chapter six, daydreaming. And just a quick reminder about what happened in chapter five, which was being a buzzing bee. Junie B. Jones did something that was not very nice. Here's a picture to remind you. She stole Crybaby Williams' invitation and tried to claim it as her own. And she got in trouble by the teacher and had to give it back. So chapter six is called Daydreaming. Mrs. took attendance. Attendance is when you say, I'm here. Except if you're not here, you have to be quiet. Also, we said, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. That is called opening ceremonies, I think. After that, we sat down and Mrs. passed out our workbooks. She told us the pages to turn to. It was work about different kinds of shapes, like circles and squares and triangles. I am a breeze at that stuff. Only I couldn't even concentrate very good on account of I kept daydreaming about that birthday party. Daydreaming is just like night dreaming, only it's not night and you're not asleep and you're not dreaming. I kept on thinking about how everybody was going to that party, only not me. I was the only one in all of room nine. I wish Lucille and Grace weren't going too, I thought to just myself, because that would be nice sports of them. After a while, I tapped on Lucille. You are my bestest good friend, I told her. Lucille smiled at me. You are my bestest good friend too, she said. I touched her new dress. You look very precious today, I said. Lucille fluffed herself. Thank you. She, you look very precious today too, she said. I touched her fingernails with polish on them. I wish you and me could be twins, I said. Me too. I wish you and me could be twins too, she said. Just then my whole face got happy. Lucille, Lucille, I just thought of something. You and me can pretend we are twins and we can do everything just the same. And so on Saturday, you can come to my house and I will put nail polish on my nails, just like you. And you will stay home from that birthday party, just like me. Lucille didn't say anything back. I tapped on her. How come you're not talking, twin? I said, how come you're not saying anything back? Because I want to go to that party, that's why, said Lucille. I did a huffy breath at her. Yes, Lucille, I know you want to go to the party, but now you and me are twins, and twins have to do everything just the same. And so if I don't go to the party, then you can't go to the party too, on account of this is the twin rules. No, it's not, said Lucille. My cousins are twins and one is a boy and one is a girl and they don't do anything alike. I jumped up from my chair. Yeah, only that is not the kind of twin I want to be, madam, I yelled. Mrs. snapped her loud fingers at me. Sit down, she hollered. Just then, that Jim, I hate, turned around in his chair and he laughed real mean at me because I was in trouble. Turn around your fatty head, I said, only he didn't turn it around. And so that's how come I had to run to his table and I had to turn it around for him. Junie B. Jones, shouted Mrs. What are you doing? I am turning around his fatty head, I explained. Mrs. Tur Mrs. hurried to where I was. Then she quick took my arm and she marched me into the hall. She pointed to the principal's room. Go, she said angrily. I did a gulp. Yeah, only I'm not actually supposed to go there anymore, I said. Here's a picture of her turning that meanie Jim's head. And look at, I think this is Lucille, her best friend, twin, looking. Because me and mother had a talk about it, and she said for me not to get sent there again. Mrs. Face got as red as a tomato. She started counting numbers. One two, three, four. And so that's how come I hurried up and walked. Because teachers who count numbers are the scariest kind there is. Oh, Junie B's in trouble. Okay, we're on chapter seven next. 
and there are only nine chapters in this whole book, so we might finish this book quick.